Okay, so with this little video, I just want to show you a few features about my ebook that I wrote to you about in the email. So it's called The Truth About Pill Bugs, kind of a fun little title, and it's a course on the elements of experimental design. This is a teacher edition, and as you can see, you can just kind of click through it. I'm doing this on my desktop instead of on, a lap, on an iPad or whatever else you might use. There are links throughout the whole thing. I can link to the introduction. I can link to section three, wherever it is. Um, I'm going to take us to fun facts about pill bugs. And one of the things that shows up right away is that at the beginning of each section, there are teacher notes. That gives the teacher some idea of how long that section will take and what they need to do to prepare for it. So it might take a week for a section, a couple days, and so forth. Also, both the teacher and the student edition have links to the glossary. And they're done in this bright blue. So antenna, I can click on it, and I'll go to the glossary, and I can read about antenna. Um, I've tried to scatter photographs throughout that will make, keep it interesting, so it's not just tons of text. In the student edition, each section has been recorded. So that way, students can listen as they um, read along. In addition to there being links to the glossary in blue, also see links in red to different videos. For example, talking about what is an isopod, you see the giant isopod video. So if we click on that, that takes us to a video, which should be up in a second. Here we go. Where the kids can watch this, a video to see this giant isopod on the bottom of the ocean floor. And the idea behind having these links is to help students maintain interest and see a lot of fun things. In addition, when we're looking at some of the more complicated topics, then there are videos that help to demonstrate that or illustrate it. Um, here's one that's not quite that um, complicated, but they do talk about how to hollow out a potato so you can find video, um, so you can find pill bugs. So the person would click on this video and they go to actually a gardening video, which is a little funny. This person's trying to get rid of pill bugs, but she does a great way, job of showing you how to um, catch pill bugs using potatoes. So she has, you know, how to make an organic potato pill bug trap. So we're not going to look at that right now. Just let you know that that's there. And again, more fun things. Another short, more short videos to show baby pill bugs or to show pill bugs um, when they're hatching out of the pouch. And I've seen that several times with students. It's really fun. So in addition to all of the usual things you would find, you know, like part one and here's how to do it, there's also um, another work that kids did on bees. So you can come here and click on that. And you can read about what some elementary school kids did in their experiment on can bees learn. So this is a real nice thing for both teachers and kids to kind of read about. You know, what does somebody else do in terms of creating their own experimental design? And that's the key to this book is the kids are not just doing little things that um, everybody already knows the answers to. They're really coming up with experiments that nobody really does know the answer to. So you're really going to be looking at it together. So here we talk about a controlled experiment. And there's a nice video that helps demonstrate what this is about. Although that's an ad we don't want right now. Ah, that is one of the problems. You do have to skip through the ads to get to the video. So once in a while that does happen. And that's the only thing I haven't been able to come out overcome. So again, another video that kids will watch and teachers too, because I realize this topic can be complicated. That's the other thing I wanted to have a lot of videos in there. So we keep going through how to test your experiment. Um, and then there's lots of examples, what to do with your results, how to keep track of them, you know, how to make data sheets or sample data sheets in there. Um, and in terms of the data, I kept it really simple. I, I know there is the argument for teaching kids how to really go in depth in data and figuring out data. But the problem I've seen with both teachers and students is that that ends up 
overshadowing the whole experience so that both teachers and students often don't really get into the groove of coming up with good designs and really enjoying the, the process. So I kept all the data stuff really simple, simple basic statistics, simple graph making, table making, that sort of thing. And I figure if you want to go, if a teacher really wants to go more deeply into that topic, they can do that. I mean, that would make a real nice extension for math class is, you know, what can we do with all this, this data? And I also talk about how um, you can present your data to others. So you can, you know, posters, videos, photographs, really trying to give kids a wide variety of ways that they can express to their peers and their families and so forth what they did and what happened. Um, some final words on why all of this is really important. You know, um, the glossary, and then finally for teachers, a resource set section, let's go through here, an appendix. So there's a section on how to make an interactive science notebook, what you need, how it would look, um, another lesson that would work to help kids understand how to handle data. It's an old lesson, but you know, it's still, excuse me, it's still a really good lesson. Um, so there's links there to that, resources for kids, books that kids would enjoy, resources for teachers. And there is this book, The Truth About Science, a curriculum for developing young scientists, that in a sense does exactly what I just did in this little book, although it's much longer, and it does go much more in depth into the data analysis. So if you would really like that, and you're not really sure how to do it, this is an excellent book for that. So just more resources, where to get pill bugs, Carolina Biological Company, and so forth. So this has been a speedy little overview of this book. Um, I really would love people to give it a try. Tell me how it works for them. I'm also happy to give workshops and demonstrate how to use this. The book is based on a process that I did over and over and over when I worked at Cal State Long Beach and when I worked um, with some gate kids over the summer. So anyway, just wanted to give you an idea of what you're looking at. And um, I look forward to hearing from those of you who do try it and those of you who don't try it and just read through it. I look forward to hearing from you as well. Thank you so much for being willing to help me um, get the word out on this book and we'll see where it goes. You know, in this day and age, it seems that a lot of people are not that interested in science perhaps, or they think it's too complicated or whatever. Um, I really think this book can play a role in helping teachers who are not necessarily scientifically minded to find a way to teach it and to enjoy it. And I think as a biologist and as a teacher, that's really the, I think that's a really good goal is for people to really enjoy that creative um, experimental process and learn from their own experiences and observations. Alrighty, if you have any questions, you know where to find me. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.